peace to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. And today as we go into another weekend, we're going to enter it extolling, exalting our God for his greatness. And today we think about God, how great he is. He has no need. Our God is perfect, no lack, nothing he needs that we can give him or loan him. He is complete in himself, and he is in full fellowship with the Trinity. Hence, there is no need for our God. He has no lack. God has no beginning, nor does he have an ending. He is the creator of the ends of the earth. He made us and not we ourselves. He is our source and he is our sustainer. He is our salvation. He upholds us in his righteous hand. He is great and greatly to be praised. He keeps us from falling. And moreover, he is our soon coming king. Hence, he is our resurrection and he is our life. And today I encourage us as believers to extol him, to exalt him. Because in our God, there is no need. Our meditation comes today from Romans 11, verse 33 to 36. And it reads, All the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who had known the mind of the Lord? Or who had been his counselor? Who had first given to him that he should recompense unto him again? For of him and through him and to him are all things. To whom be glory forever. Amen. The word of God to the people of God. Today, let's extol him. Let's exalt him. Our God is great. He has no need. And he's here for us all the time. Father, we thank you today. We honor you because of who you are great and greatly to be praised, awesome and worthy to be exalted. And we honor you today because of who you are. And we thank you because you have given to us. And today you are salvation, you are hope. You don't want to sustain us. You don't want to give to us. You don't want to source us. And we lift you up today. We magnify you. We honor you. And I pray today that believers everywhere will show forth the praises of God who is, and besides him there is no other. We commend those who lead the nations today, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families. Leaders everywhere, we commend them to today. We pray that we will exalt you in all our ways. We'll acknowledge you. And you promise you will direct our path. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. We lift you up today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today as we go through this weekend, extolling God for his greatness. No one is like unto our God. And we give him praise today. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.